from now on, you and many other people may know the cartoons are directly mostly at children, and basically every adult alike. Take me in, for example. I sometimes I was technically one of them. I know some adults in comics like King of the Hill, Family Guy, South Park, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, American Dad, Robot Chicken, uh, and Futurama. These shows in particular will be cartoons for adults that would enjoy. Even though I'm just an adult who does enjoy these shows, I want to tell you the story only once. <coughs> and I expect you to remember it, it all over the time. This is the most recent event I've been willing to share with somebody. It's a close person to me. I am Daniel Adams. It's a pleasure to meet you. No need to speak to me. I'll be the one and only person doing the talking at the moment. And I will tell you this, this story once, and I expect you to remember it all the time. Here, right here, right now. I suppose that you won't be thinking that this isn't bad. But the, but the events I was expecting wasn't pretty, to say. It was related to a topic of a certain show we've been discussing right now. And that show is called SpongeBob SquarePants. You love SpongeBob? I love SpongeBob. Everybody does. And I mean, who doesn't love SpongeBob? SpongeBob himself is the primary, ultimate force of all cartoons. Being Danny Phantom, Family Our Parents, Avengers of Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, Marvelous Miss Avengers, The Flash Act, Total, Total Drama, Beta Sam, you name it, just any of them, you know, come to mind. Both mine and yours. Cartoon itself was created by Steven Hillenburg. It was released on May 1st, 1990. With, and then the pilot was just released. The intro was different because I said this one more. It was a pilot episode. But no, I won't be going there. I'm not going to be going there. I'm going to go in much deeper. I'm going to be talking about one of the episodes from season 2. Dump. It was about Gary who stopped playing with Spongebob. And dumped him for his owner's best friend Patrick. This is actually a really sad episode. But I wind in, But it wind up having a happy ending. Unfortunately for me, I did not view the episode the same way. Because I know for a fact that there was an uglier, ultimate version of itself. Just allow me to sit down in this room where we are. And I'll tell you the ultimate quote, love story. My origin began only a few years ago. When I had one day old tale to say because the caterpillar work on my house were nearly finished. The floor was gone. Yada, yada, yada. And there was absolutely nothing to see. And it began all in the middle of the night, when I had to leave my house. I left my house, then stayed in my car. I drove to the nearest inn. I couldn't find any inn. I, I, I couldn't find. I went into town. I found an inn I could stay at, but when I searched deeper into the town, I found my eyes on a nice-looking hotel I'd never seen. I felt like I was in heaven, but just by looking at it, I parked the car, jumped out, walked inside. I found a nice-looking, well-dressed man in a red suit in a black-orange striped tie. Standing on the other side where I was, and uh, and the, and and also the remainder on the desk with a silver bill, I greeted the man and paid him. Uh, with a good amount of money, I got to my room key, room C one. When I looked run to my right, I saw a dark, dimly lit hallway with flickering lights on the ceiling. The only thing I could do was just breathe. I went down the hallway. I I arrived in my room and I locked the door. I slowly opened it, and followed by a sound of the door creaking, with the remains of inside with a dump, ratty, dusty room. It was the only thing. It was the only thing decent with the bed. The TV remote, the television appeared to be a perfectly clean DVD case. Was under the television with a DVD player. I closed the door behind me and turned on the lights and and ignited the lamp on the ceiling. I sat my legs down on the floor. I picked up the DVD case, turned it. To the front side, I found out what kind of disc remains inside. It all made sense. The box art was the picture of SpongeBob in a dark room, seeing it had bloodshot, fiery eyes with an empty isris. There was no title on the DVD cartridge, and there was a, just a plain, generic dark on the back side. Yeah, that's the DVD itself. And curious, I opened the, I opened the cartridge, popped out the disc, opened the DVD player, slid the disc inside, pressed. The open button again, closing the DVD player. I turned on the television and I switched to HDMI 3, and there I was. Slush screen was a poorly drawn artwork form of SpongeBob and Patrick on a crumpy, wrinkled white background, similar to the one people crumpled up a piece of paper and opened it back and get up again. There was music, and, it, and there, of course, was music in the background, and I was listening to what was playing in the background. Sound like me from the, my perspective, a faint. Destroy music box version of the 
intro theme of the television show Spongebob Squarepants, Spongebob Squarepants himself. And every five seconds, the music box works loud, ambient, real bean bang in the background as the sob agony. The options below background were play the music, play, meet the staff, behind the scenes, and more. Before I started the episode, I went into the more. When I went into more, there's a few animated clips that looked like there was a lead scene that I never seen before. There was labeled below the thumbnail of the clip. Each one of them read test and there was a name for each one each last one of them. I backed out and I played the episode. No, I cannot give you a uh, copy of the DVD because I don't want I don't want our copy to be handed over to Viacom. After all, you, do you know when it, it comes to those kind of things? But I can give you a summary of what happened in the episode itself. I scratched my head in confusion when I saw apparently a black green and there's some reason I wanted to know what's wrong with the TV before I could get up to fix the TV the screen flickered and it took the it would take the viewer to the uh test car pattern with a bright uh bright color with a block uh, uh back block uh microscopic silver and white below them there was audio in the background and the first noise I heard was ear 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 drilling scene waves in the back Above the top of the vibrant colors, it read, Please wait, this might take a few minutes on screen in a digital font. <sighs> the test car took about 20, 20, 20 seconds to stop. It took me yet another black screen for a few more seconds, and it showed the an intro. Are you ready, kids? The parry, the parry painting asked the audience. Only me, only, only be me, and no, only me, because I was the only one uh, watching this traumatized and the episode. The kids in the background wouldn't be heard. The pirate painting then said, I can't hear you. And then the next thing I knew there was a small child whimpering. Bruce Hopper, Bruce Hop, leave me alone in the background. The intro uh, then started with a uh, camera panning down at the bottom of the house <sighs> with a uh, bunch of square pants revealing the bunch of himself in his underwear. He noticed that he wasn't wearing his iconic brown pants with a white shirt and red tie. Until his hand gave his clothing, making Spongebob smile, and put his hand around his hips. You know, for the intro, we all know and love it. It seemed normal enough. If I kept watching the cartoon, I already tucked him under the bed. As soon as the intro ended, things seemed to be the, not be the same. Then Spongebob popped up from the screen and started playing uh, notes like the flute. He started staring deeply into the camera without motion. The screen faded to the Episode title card the background with really lip and long screen. Read the title <coughs> read the episode title um, the episode title music was silent. Black noises. There was nothing to be heard. Once the title card faded away into bubbles, the episode began. Funchov was playing the game of tag with his cat Gary the Snail. The the two was playing together right after a few seconds there was that uh, was when Spongebob's best friend, Patrick Starr, be, uh, proceeded to jump into the middle of the Spongebob game a tag with a test. Patrick asked Spongebob if he could join in. That's when uh, Spongebob agreed to the offer. Things seemed normal temporarily. Soon, the series continued to spend more time with Patrick as the episode normally, uh, as, the episode, as the episode correctly went on. The episode isn't what I expected it to be. Spongebob was, not, uh, was trying on to get a new pet. Instead, he was just sitting outside his house against his door. A uh, quiet, unhappy sigh as he slumped down. He left as he walked Patrick Clay with Gary without him. He did, he get it eventually, Spongebob snapped angrily. As he wants to do uh, with unreading glare on his face. The screen drifted into the bubble transition. Snap into the next scene. It shows Spongebob standing outside. Patrick Brock, before going up to it. Open it without even knocking. There under the rock will be Patrick uh, having a sleepover with Spongebob Ted without his buddy. It was just, it was just cruel. I was completely, uh, utterly disappointed when I saw this part of the episode. Spongebob looked right down at Patrick before proceeding to jump on him in front of his friend. Spongebob now was a dissipated look on his face. Asked Patrick if he can have fun with Gary, including him. Spongebob also let Patrick know that Gary is his pet, not Patrick's. Patrick now chuckled enormously would tell Spongebob that he would uh, get out of the rock and ask him anyway. 
somehow is not disability African Panthers. Why hasn't he done that for three hours? I grew more and more confused about fun uh, about why SpongeBob was not acting like himself. He grew angrier and angry, angrier, he, but he spoke in the usual voice. Patrick Star, the way made me lose my patience. It's becoming quite a talent of yours. Give me my snail right now. Pat, uh, SpongeBob snapped and angry at his afflicted friend as he stopped his foot on the sand and becoming more and more furious with Patrick. Patrick became more deflected until one time he wasn't giving back, giving Gary back to him after he he did uh he continued to play with Gary annoying his friend which only made the scene worse. I swear I could hear Sunshine growl in fury <laughs> I jumped in fear as I heard Sunshine yell at Patrick's name at the top of his lungs at full volume Patrick Shaw This had gone Patrick's continued as he too jumped him. He would. He still wouldn't give Gary back. He was trying to become Gary's friend, as he asked SpongeBob if he was okay while shivering repeatedly. SpongeBob was starting to twitch and shake violently in anger, in this very disturbing way, while he was giving Patrick a deadly menace glare on his face. But uh, Patrick, who said nothing else during this part, got up from the sand floor and started backing up into the wall. All while SpongeBob was slowly approaching him with a ball fist. He launched at Pat. Out of Patrick began to beat him down with no mercy. He used his fists and his shoes to hit the starfish's body, followed by the sound of Patrick uh, whimpering and howling in pain. This had confused me. I was terrified, as i never seen Bunchaw this out of character. I know the fact that I've already seen a pal like Gary, but the Bunchaw in this episode was nothing like that. The camera showed up a close up of Patrick's face. Now had a few cracked teeth, black eye, busted bottom lip, and appeared to be led. Red liquid, from which I assumed to be a blood dripping down a uh, corner of his mouth. In his eyes, were such a Patrick, I saw a very angry SpongeBob. Now was a correctly colored issue, and his eyes were not light blue. They used to be, but they changed from light blue to crimson red. No, 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 no. Patrick whispered, whimpered. No, stay away from me. He sobbed. SpongeBob keeps approaching his brain dead friend. There was a furious expression on his face. He picked up Patrick. With both hands by the neck and while growling in an unfettered manner. The sound of a heavy breathing was heard through the speaker of the TV screen. Then moments away from doing something else. What kind of friend are you anyway? Sunshine began. First you asked me to join my game attack. Then you steal my snail. Sunshine now began to yell as he still had the same voice actor who voiced him in the show itself. Do you clean his litter box? Do you worry about Find him food? Do you discipline him for the wrong doing he commit? No! You don't, Patrick! You are incapable of accepting any form of responsibility, let alone caring for yourself, at all! And every day, the torture you bring me never ends! Sunshine snapped at Patrick with a colored 78 word phrase. Patrick laid on, the, on his back against the wall and still tears and violently, he saw violently. Then, I, I don't think we should be f friends anymore, as Pat screamed at Funza, who turned as miserable as miserable could be. The two looked at each other for some odd reason. Gary was watching this the whole time. The episode got odder by the minute. Funza, with Funza out of the character, Patrick being a miserable punching bag, though he deserved it in the later seasons. This resulted in a very disturbing alternate episode. As soon as Patrick... Told SpongeBob that he didn't want to be friends with him any longer. The screen cut to black as to SpongeBob's face and what he heard a loud snarl was assuming coming from him. The screen zoomed out as apparently in his right hand was a hammer. He lunged out of the screen, striking at the camera in the first place of you and Patrick Star. The screen immediately vanished into darkness before re reappearing in, in terms of SpongeBob Pineapple House. The camera fade left and right, then inside the Apparently, at the inside bunch of bedroom, everything is now completely CGI animated. The room was is extremely dark, and a last piece, the camera would pin down and blow the screen in. See the reveal of Patrick's lower body strapped down with three belts, then feel square table. The camera now faced the door, bunch of bedroom. I swear I could hear a loud scream of squeaking of 
bunch of footsteps started quiet before getting louder and louder and louder. I was shivering in fear and back away from the TV. I wrapped myself in black and make my make matters worse. I was holding a pillow against my chest and I heard the door of the bunch of bedroom slowly creak open and then in the doorway. Sort of where pants was he was who was completely in CGI. His expression was usually calm, demeanor. He was always put on his but something was wrong with him. A bunch of holes were dripping with orange liquid as black sludge constantly dripping down from his mouth. For some outlandish reason, he had the doctor's outfit instead of the Tim all brown shorts he usually wear. To be even more suspicious, he didn't have a doctor's mask on. But he didn't have breakfast. Right, right. He wore a tray for a light blue doctor glove and a stethoscope around his neck. No, he did not seem angry at the, this part of the episode. His irises were completely normal, followed by a bunch of trademark smiles from many episodes and made him more creepier. Hello, Patrick, he calmly as he approached Patrick's uh, boss of tools using his, um, as episode surgery like. Then he put it on the table next to the steel surgery table, opened up, revealed the tools. Uh, Inside the toolbox were a scalpel, a pair of time on scissors, a retainer, a box of foreign tweezers, a solid clamp, needle, bone crescent, and such. Gee, you look so look scared, buddy. Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. It would hurt a lot, he chirped and grabbed the first thing he saw using the cut of the torso. The scalpel, uh, the camera pan downwards as he saw Spongebob's left arm slicing from Patrick's chest to the bottom of his stomach as Spongebob cut into the sea star's flesh. The sound of screaming in pain was heard from poor starfish. After Spongebob was cutting, finishing cutting up Patrick open, a few sound clips of Patrick sobbing were heard. The sponge pulled out a pair of clumps onto the hand, stuck inside his stomach, and pulled out open. This made Patrick scream even quieter and louder, revealing Spongebob, uh, pa Patrick pulse anatomy. It hurts, doesn't it? The pain I felt when you took my pet away from me. Spongebob chirped possibly until it had searched on Patrick while the poor starfish was howling and weeping all at once. The form one horrifying scream of agony. Spongebob proceeded to pull out a ton of scissors and line up between Patrick's large intestines and small intestines. What he did, a famed snip in a red CGI liquid now spray out of the tube of the two organs. Spongebob didn't feel any guilty about what he was doing. He didn't say anything. He was sorry and now he was worried about his life. Instead, he was beginning with slowly Barry Moon, a uh, missing tune filled smile with a hundreds and thousands, no more than that, out rows of teeth. The only line that Patrick had weren't lines, they were just tweaks and solved the agony. SpongeBob continued the surgery, using his scaffold to cut deeper and deeper into what used to be his friend's flesh. Certainly, didn't, certainly didn't do you any good, Patrick. Come on, just take it, SpongeBob said in still a joyful manner. As he was performing the sixteenth surgery, he was slapping Patrick's stomach open. He used his clamp to pull out with a powerful force. Yet, and another scream of agony from Patrick was heard. At the time, the audio was in the same volume. It was much louder than it was before. Uh, what has been before? Uh, others. As the scream went on, uh, I began to lose my sanity. Regardless of me, like clamp over my hand in despair. I keep watching the dreadful episode of Spongebob keep tearing Spongebob tearing uh, Patrick's body apart. Now, cutting up Patrick's left arm and right leg. Then a nightmare went on and on. Spongebob was letting out his usual laugh. It wasn't psychotic. It was the same flat out Spongebob laughter. He kept laughing and laughing on and on. He couldn't stop. He couldn't stop. The screen continued to jump swiftly re repeatedly while the torch of uh, both of us continued. Spongebob cut off Patrick's last two limbs. Then he grabbed uh, the first two things he had cut off and he faced the camera with his mouth wide open. All his mouth at once. He began to chew them. He started there the screen while he chewing all, all four of Patrick's limbs with that black sludge dripping down from his mouth, missing with the CGI blood to form a disgusting mush. Once he was okay, uh, once he was finished, he swallowed all of it and I heard a hard swallow coming from the sea sponge. The camera we cut to Patrick Star first person perspective. He means bunch of staring in front of him, visible tears were streaming down Patrick's eyes. He couldn't handle any more pain, and torture was bunch of was giving him. 
All right, Patrick. It looks like it's time to conclude this. Spongebob said with a smile. He put out an axe once he did. He went slowly to Patrick. He, well, it, t- it took about many or 30 seconds for him to make his way to the retainer's friend. And when he finally got there, he, he had to held the axe back. And with a swift swing, he slashed Patrick's head clean off his torso. Made it fly off words in the ceiling, knocking around the room. For the moment, the cut to Patrick's decapitated head it laid on the floor uh, with Patrick's tongue hanging out of his mouth and eyes still open. The camera, uh, the, uh, the camera cut back to with SpongeBob. When his back turned, slowly turned, and his face was on the screen. I heard something. It came from him. Your turn, he whispered. Upon whispering in the background, now color with the uh, dark crimson color before the live action footage screen vanished into the black void of nothing in color. Barely 30 minutes later, they showed a few clips of the car crash into the brick wall. A toy plane on the landing on the grass. So, RT footage of uh, Roy King being by police officers. Brian uh, Blood on me with a blender. Candy Operation Archive scene. A bloodline stretch out from the bathtub like a tiger. Trigger. A small child choked on the contents of some milk glass. A man busted it with a pinball in slow motion. Wally Popeye Ingen. Anchorage. And what was heard in the background, the audio clip was for themselves. This is for a sound of a newborn baby crying. This scene you managed to Walmart. Um, it was a uh, fade on screen. It was Patrick's head. In the same CGI style, hanging off a hook. Uh, with, uh, with being tied to his mouth. A few, uh, a few chilling words appeared on the bottom of the center of the television. Below Patrick's discovery of his hanging head that reads created by Steven Hilberg. Then the Patrick the, then the picture would vanish the screen. One last scene would show the same picture of the same front of the DVD case of Spongebob in the same dark room with no mouth, bloodshot eyes, then perfectly still for seeing in it. Spongebob needs his eyes. The one thing the one thing I wouldn't call Spongebob blinking of his eyes, his eyes vanished into the darkness before turning the main session screen. I was speechless. I had nothing to say. No words ever I had no words ever entered my brain. I told words in the episode itself. I slowly got up from the bed, turned off the television, and adjusted this upon doing that. I pulled into the car she came from. I was putting it. I pulled out a sticky note from my jack pocket and I pulled the sticky note off what put it on my pen. I wrote a note to the next person who stayed in room C D one. Do not put this disc into your DVD player. If you're curious, if you're still curious, if you want to know what contents inside of the disc itself, come and find me, and I'll give you a good summary of what I saw. Daniel Adams. I put the cartridge back into play to play the next to the TV. Just the next person who came across the room, find the TV. <coughs> no one plays on it. No, to not to play the disc. To wrap it up, I just have to say, been got good talking to you. I hope you remember what I said. Please, I hope you believe me because this episode is real. And if you ever happen to find a decent, heavy looking in, you know what the DVD came from. You know what might happen to the DVD. Who will be the next person to watch it? And mo- and most likely it won't be you. Thanks to hearing my story about it. So don't watch this version of the episode of SpongeBob.